I want to thank everyone for coming today. Uh, big thanks to the Bellevue East Pop Ensemble Band over here. Give them a round of applause, led by Jeremy Krug. Thanks, you guys, so much. I'm Diane with the Bellevue Chamber of Commerce, and I just want to thank everyone for coming out today. Uh, this is a huge crowd, and this just tells that the city made a great decision on uh, making this happen. Uh, we went to the, yes, we're applauding the city of Bellevue, I love it. I went to the old library today, and what a transformation this is going to be. And when you walk into the old one, it's kind of sad but exciting at the same time. So I'm super excited to be able to go into this one and see everything they have going on. Um, I want to welcome a lot of the dignitaries. So let me go through the list here real quick. I have U.S. Congressman Mike Flood. <laughs> Bellevue Mayor Rusty Hike. Nebraska State Senator Rita Sanders. <laughs> Bellevue City Council Don Preister. Rich Casey. Paul Cook. Kathy Welch. And Jerry McCaw. Is Jerry here yet? We also have Sarpy County Commissioner Angie Burmeister. We have two people here from the Planning Commission, Scott Hankins and Leland Jacobson. And then people from City Hall, we have Jim Risto, City Administrator, Rich Severson, Dave Godekin, Tammy Palm, Lisa Rybar, and Perry Guido. And I'm sure the people from the library are going to attest how much work was put into putting this together and making this happen. And those people we just named from City Hall, those are the ones that really are behind the scenes with the planning and the approvals and, and everything you have to go through to make any construction project happen, let alone moving a huge city entity like this. So I want to definitely give City, city of Bellevue another round of applause for making this happen. I'm just going to take a few minutes. I know we're all here to get inside the library, but we have some people that are going to talk today. I'm just going to take a few minutes just to, from a chamber perspective, one of the things we do is economic development and uh, having a resource like this is just a huge asset for families to want to come to, but it's also entertainment value. So just this one entity is going to bring so much to our community on being able to bring in new businesses, bring in families to help fill our workforce need. And if you haven't been, if you haven't been to the old makerspace lab, I've heard the new one is even better and that's my favorite part of the library. So I'm really excited to get into that part. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and, and, and pass the, the mic off to Congressman Mike Flood to say a few words. Chamber of Commerce weather today, I would say, don't you think? <laughs> Thank you, Diane, and uh, to, uh, to you, Julie, and the Library Foundation for all the great work you've done here today, to Mayor Hike for everything you're doing to grow Bellevue. And it's so good to see uh, my uh, former colleague from the legislature, uh, Rita Sanders here. Uh, Bellevue is a city on the move. You're not only one of the fastest growing in Nebraska, but you've remained true to your roots over the years. You've made Bellevue a welcoming home for Offit and Stratcom, the area's largest employer, by building special and supportive relationships between your community and the base. You're home to Bellevue University, Fontenelle Forest, and good public schools. I just uh, noted recently that Bellevue West ranks as the number nine public high school in the state according to the 2024 U.S. News and World Report rankings. So congratulations. Uh, this library builds on existing strengths. Uh, young Nebraskans are looking for places like this where they can connect with friends, recreate, enjoy new experiences. I visited this library when it was under construction several months ago and I'm pleased to say that in March of this year, thanks to help from Mayor Hike, we were able to get $1.7 million in federal resources for the library to help get it completed. That only happened because Mayor Hike reached out to our office and said it was a number one priority to finish this project. And so thanks to him and our efforts in Congress, uh, we enjoy today's big announcement. So thank you. 
As Bellevue continues to grow, this new facility will help facilitate a wide variety of educational opportunities, literacy programs, social networking, expanded economic opportunities, and exposure to computers and technology. Uh, we're not done growing Bellevue yet. This year, we're working on funding the Survival Airborne Operations Center Planning and Design Project, which is a top priority. And I'm pleased to announce that the initial amount is included within the House Appropriations Package, and that is $10 million. I would be... I would be remiss if I didn't also say that uh, Congressman Don Bacon and U.S. Senator Deb Fisher uh, worked on that project as well. And uh, when you see them both, tell them thank you on behalf of Bellevue and off at Air Force Base. So I'll be sure to keep you updated as new developments come. But uh, you're working together. We're taking care of business. Once again, congratulations to Julie, Mayor Hike, the city of Bellevue, all the uh, dignitaries here today, and all the partners on this great project. Thank you. Thank you, Congressman Flood. Um, I want to introduce our next speaker. As he just said, a lot of the money that came for this is because Rusty stood out and said, hey, we need some more money to make this happen. So I'm so excited about our current city administration, uh, the things they're making happen in Bellevue. And again, as a chamber perspective, there's a lot of stuff happening. And with their persistence, this library is happening. So uh, Mayor Rusty Hike, please come up. But thank you so much to the city and, and Rusty for your efforts. Thanks, everybody. This is a great turnout. Um, it's probably four times the size of our groundbreaking, I think. There's a lot more people here, but the weather helps a lot. I want to start out by thanking Congressman Flood. Um, $1.7 million to a about a $7.5 million project. So that's 20-something uh, that's percent. So just to put that in perspective, that's like getting a, a down payment, 20% down payment for your house from your parents. I mean, <laughs> it's huge. It does help a lot. So um, it's nice to see some of those federal funds come back. I mean, we all pay the federal income tax, and uh, that's, that really helps us. So thank you, Congressman. And uh, also want to say his staff and, and uh, Congressman are so easy to approach, and you're always there to help, and Monica's here, and... Um, just, uh, I'd like to give him a hand. Just thank you. So I asked Phil to put me some words together because um, I talk too long if I don't stay to a script. And uh, he came up with some uh, pretty interesting stuff here. And this is kind of a history of the Bellevue Library. So I'm going to run through it just so everybody knows where we started and where we ended up. Um, it's been said that a uh, new or additional library has been talked about for over 25 years or so in the community. So it's always one of those things that, that we've talked about but ne never been able to do. Um, I'm excited to be here today with everyone to celebrate the opening of this modern public library for the entire Bellevue community to enjoy. I know you cannot wait to see this new library, what, the, what it has to offer, but it's important to point out how many people made this a priority when I first ran for mayor over six years ago. So again, it was one of those items that uh, everybody wanted, we just never were able to do. So um, thank you to everybody that played a part in that, and I know everybody's gotten a lot of credit here, so I'll, I'll bypass all the names, but every one of them was important. The library's come a long way over the years, thanks to some wonderful volunteers and staff members. Here's a brief history of the Bellevue Public Library locations in Bellevue. The first public library in Bellevue was located in a back room of the J.C. Larson residence on 20th Street and started in 1929 by the Bellevue Junior Women's Club. So that's where it all started. The library moved to the south wing of the Presbyterian Church in 1930. In the same year, the village of Bellevue assumed responsibility for the library. So that was 1930. Later that year, the library was moved into the county courthouse. Sure, there's some uh, librarians here that I hope this is all accurate, Phil. <laughs> so, so 1930, uh, actually 19, 1930s, I, not a lot of people know this, but my great uncle was the mayor of Bellevue. It was actually called the city manager, Wil Wilbur Cast. So this is his time frame. The library moved to the south wing of the Presbyterian Church in, let's see, 1930, in the same year, the village of Bellevue, okay. In 1938, the library was relocated to the stucco building in Washington Park. So the little stucco building. 
And then the red brick building in the park served as a library from May 1961 until September of 1975. This building is the current home of the Bellevue Food Pantry. And we all know they moved into the last library, so. The library facility at Lincoln and Harvell Roads opened in September 1975. And we're excited that it will continue to serve the community as the new home of the Bellevue Food Pantry, which they just got their keys today. Over the... Great community use, and that's, that's just, it's a perfect use for it, so I'm happy to see them in there. Over the past 25 years, there have been many proposed locations and plans for a site of a new library for Bellevue. When this location here became available, purchasing this building and adding additional square footage to the building was considered the best option for the city to provide a new modern library in a reasonable time frame. With new contemporary furnishings and expanded children's area, meeting rooms with the latest technology, and even a drive through window without having to raise taxes or issue bonds to finance this project. The project cost is about $3 million for the purchase of the building and about $4.5 million for the addition that you see here and all the furnishings and the IT that goes into it. So about $7.5 million total. As we gather today to celebrate this modern, modern library facility, I think it is important to point out that the helpful and dedicated staff members that you have become accustomed to will still be here to help you navigate through all the features that this new library has to offer. Thank you for all your efforts over the past few months to take this move, make this move a reality. And can I have everybody raise their hand? Everybody raise their hand that's a staff member here, please. Back there. Thank you. The City of Bellevue would like to thank Library Director Julie Denville, former <laughs> very well deserved, former Library Director Lupe Meyer, <laughs> and everyone has been involved in this past the 25 years plus process to get a new modern library for Bellevue. But again, thank you for coming out, and I know you're going to like it when you go in there. It's it's fabulous library, and it'll serve us for a long time. And again, thank you, Congressman Flood. Thank you, Mayor Hike. I'm kind of going to date myself here, because Lupe was the director when I first came to town, and, and it's been over 25 years since he worked here, so I'm, I, I'm getting up there. Um, I want to point out one thing. They mentioned the food pantry going to the old library. It is not, that's not where you take the food. If you're taking donations, keep going to the old location until they give word. Because a lot of people are asking, where do we take donations now? So please keep going to Washington Park. Uh, the next person has been with the library for 25 plus years. So I want to welcome Library Director Julie Dinville to the podium. Well, I hope I can get through this without choking up, but no guarantee. Um, it's so wonderful to see all of you here today to share this very exciting moment in the uh, history of the library. We thank you for your support, the generosity that you've shown us, and the well wishes that have carried us through this whole project. There are so many people that deserve our thanks, including Congressman Flood, um, and uh, the governor's office, um, both of whom uh, helped us get funding for this project. Our thanks also go to Google and the Bellevue Community Foundation and the Midlands Community Foundation that provided grants to us. The project has involved so many people, including Leo A. Daly, our architects, the Raggi Construction Group, AOI Furniture, Midwest Storage Solutions, and the Von Rensel Moving Company. Almost every department in the city has helped us at some point, and we are very grateful. Um, we are especially grateful to Mayor Hike and City Administrator Jim Risto for helping us uh, get through the project and, and steering us along the course. Uh, we want to thank our city council members who have shown us support throughout this whole project. Uh, and I want to give a special thanks to Dave Godigan, 
of the uh, Public Works Department and the building maintenance team because they have been integral into getting this project done. And uh, we're still working with them to finish up a few things. I also want to thank our city communications team. They have been with us the whole way. They've helped us problem solve and think into the future and just been a great support. The Sarpy County Information Systems Group are still working with us as we put the finishing touches on some of the technology that we're bringing into this building. Others who have been supportive of this project on multiple levels um, many years in the process, as you've heard, our, our Bellevue Library Advisory Board, our Bellevue Library Foundation, the Friends of the Bellevue Public Library, and this building project's fundraising committee. All of these people volunteered numerous hours to make sure that we got to today. So a big thank you to all of them. <laughs> Lastly, but certainly not least, I want to thank the staff of the Bellevue Public Library. <laughs> uh, everybody uh, was going, oh, that move would you know, be a big project. It was a big project. <laughs> 140 plus thousand items we moved from the old location to here. I think we all discovered we had a few muscles we hadn't used for a while. <laughs> Um, but it, it's been a good process. We're still working through that, but I am so proud of them and all the work they have done and their, their interest to make sure that this is a great place for our community. It's just amazing to me what they've done. Um, and I want to acknowledge, <laughs> thank you. I, w I want to acknowledge, as, as we cut the ribbon uh, at the new library today, of those efforts of all of those folks who have come before. Lupe deserves another round of applause for getting us to here. You know, we're celebrating our 95th anniversary in the community this month, October. And uh, it, from the very beginning, service to the community has been part of the library's mission. It's something that we honor today, and it's something we look forward to continuing as we go on to our next chapter of the library's history. I thank you all for being here today. I hope you do stay around for our sneak preview of the building. Uh, there are a few things we're still finishing up, but even so, we have so much to celebrate today. And thank you for being here as part of that celebration. Thank you, Julie, and thank you for putting all this together and making this happen. You know you're an integral part of making this all work, so we appreciate all your efforts. Um, next, I want to introduce the, the Library Foundation President, Michelle Boyce. Michelle's been part of the team for as part of the foundation for a year and a half but she's been part of the library for many years and it just shows that there's a love of libraries and Michelle's one of the people who who instills that in herself and the people around her so Michelle come on up thank you Diane and thank you to all of you for coming out to open this new chapter in the library's um, history we're so excited that you could be a part of it today um, everybody's been saying their thank yous and of course we want to say thank you to the city and the architects all of the workers that have put in so much time to the um, to mayor uh, Mike flood uh, for the funding and and just all the people that have been a part of this we want to be sure and thank all the members of the library foundation and all the support that they've given as well as the friends of the library and the library board we want to be sure that we're thanking um, the, just the community for your general, generous contributions of time and money um, to make this possible. We also want to thank the fundraising committee for their hours and hours of tireless work that continues even behind the scenes after the doors open. I'm certain that you are as excited as I am to get in this sneak peek, but before we do, we would like to offer the biggest thank you to the staff of the library who have put in hundreds of hours.
They have put in hours of the moving and the muscles and things over the last five weeks. But the part that you don't know is they've put in hundreds of hours of planning and dreaming and working to not only get everything ready for you for today, but moving forward in the months to come. Their hard work and constant innovations make our library a wonderful corner of the world to be a part of. And we're so excited to give you the sneak peek just now. So please welcome to our brand new public library. Okay, we're almost there. We want to do our ribbon cutting really quick, and then they're going to have you come in and do, uh, do your tours and see the, see the new place. There's a couple people who are here that we missed in the introduction. So uh, Police Chief Ken Clary is here. Raise your hand there, sir. And former, former Councilwoman Kathy Sanyuk is here also. We want to thank her for everything she's done for the city. So the people who are going to be holding the ribbon and the scissors, please come on over. <laughs> 